Fort Hood troops with the 1st Cavalry Division have spent the last few weeks training in case they ever get called up to the actual battlefield. Tonight, 25 News reporter Adam Schindler is at the Army's National Training Center in California with his final report. For weeks, 1st Cavalry Division troops have proven themselves at the National Training Center at Fort Irwin, California, and doing so on a massive scale. To do that, they need supplies, and that's where the sustainment troops come in. A sustainment drives up tempo. And in order for the, the uh, combat platforms to be able to perform the way they were designed to perform, sustainment, logistics have to be there to support them, to enable them to do what they were designed to do. Providing the troops with what they need to win the battle. Um, I manage all the munitions for the brigade and supporting elements. Um, nothing could move without us as far as being able to shoot um, in war or peacetime. Sustainment doesn't just provide ammunition and fuel to keep the vehicles and fight going, they provide water and other essentials to keep the soldiers going. So it's all the fundamental things to keep the soldiers going in the field, whether it's food and water to sustain the soldier, or the class nine parts, ammunition to keep the combat platforms going. Making them unsung heroes of the battlefield. The sustainers are the least appreciated at times. Um, however, um, when we're able to deliver and get the things that we need to the appropriate areas, then um, we get that respect. And they have a message for all the families missing their sustainment soldiers while they're at NTC. The NTC is very stressful, it's very challenging, um, but that I've gave 110% of everything that I can give while I'm out here, my soldiers have to. Keeping the train moving on the battlefields of NTC. From the National Training Center at Fort Irwin, California, Adam Schindler, 25 News.